thank you very much. Appreciate You're quite it. welcome. So Happy to do it. Yeah. Well, congratulations on the nomination for one. Thank you very much. It's it's a blast. It really is. Yeah. You yeah. Don't, you don't expect the Woody Allen movies to get nominated. Uh, actually. Or do do you from the Inside Circle perhaps? Three, three years ago, we won a Golden Globe for Vicky Cristina Barcelona. Right. This year. There's a lot of hoopla. Yeah, we got a nomination for a Golden Globe, and then this. Um, all the blogs were saying we'd get it. I guess never want to say yes because then you're disappointed if it doesn't happen. But it's really great. It is. It's just uh, I've had a long career, as I said to you a few minutes ago. This is my fifth career, and as I call it, a long and winding road. And it's just a blast. It really is. So, what brought you into the film industry then? It really was an evolution. I started in the music business and then clients drifted into film and television and I guess I drifted with them and um, got to work closer and closer with Woody and I was so involved in his movies already that one day, Curse of the Jade Scorpion, he said, you gotta start producing. You speak very good English. No. Not really. No, you do. How long have you been dating Picasso? God, did I just say that? Did you knew he knocked it out of the park with this one? Um, not from first reading the script, no. <laughs> I had some doubts, as did Letty, who produces right. with me. We were very concerned that young people wouldn't know who some of the characters were right. back in the 20s and whatnot. Um, Hemingway, yes, um, Salvatore Dali probably, but Gertrude Stein or Man Ray or some of the other characters and it, it might not work so well if young people don't know who um, Owen was back living this dream life with, mm -hmm. but it turned out that it didn't matter. They got the idea and it worked. Now this is a writer. Uh, Gil. Yes? Gil. Gil Pender. Gil Pender. Hemingway. Hemingway? You like my book? Liked? I loved all, all your work. Yes, it was a good book because it was an honest book. I heard the idea for Midnight Paris came up a few years ago and then there were some budgeting issues that, that kind of held it off, so it's not as We new. were going to, originally the script was written to be shot in 2006. Um, it was budgeted for Paris. Shooting in Paris was always a dream of Woody's. It was just too far out of sight. And we're all very conscious, including Woody, that um, the cost of his films do not get out of sight. They're not hundred million dollar box office pictures, although this one, um, I think it's 156 or 157 million now around the world. Wow. It, it's the largest grossing movie he's ever had here as well as worldwide. That's amazing. Um, so it's really been uh, just a fantastic, uh, a fantastic run. <laughs> yes, she's beautiful, but it's a subtle beauty, an implied sensuality. I mean, what is your first impression of Adriana? Exceptionally lovely. We do something called five questions. Five quick questions, one word answers. Ready? Five quick questions and one word yeah. answers. Okay. Hemingway or F. Scott Fitzgerald? Hemingway. Lennon or McCartney? McCartney. Film you've made, uh, that you're most proud of? Midnight in Paris. Film that made you want to get into movies? Uh, that's a tough one. <laughs> I think the first one I ever saw. Which is what? See here, Private Hargrove. Robert Walker and um, I forget who the female lead was. Boy, I was a little boy, lived in the Bronx. <laughs> My parents took me to the Lowy's Paradise Theater and it was quite an experience. And I always remembered it. Nice. And in one word, Midnight in Paris. Midnight in Paris. In one word. It's a blast. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're quite I welcome. Really appreciate it. Okay. 